President David O. McKay taught this about edges. Many of us, through selfishness, are lingering near the edge of the animal jungle where nature's law demands us to do everything with self in view. The Lord said, Look unto me in every thought, doubt not, fear not. I have learned that such faith gives emancipating power. Facing God first lets us decide firmly what we shall not do. Then we are free to pursue what we ought to do. Love of God is the root of all virtue, of all goodness, of all strength of character, of all fidelity to do right. Love the Lord your God and love His Son and be ever grateful for their love for us. Whenever other love fades, there will be that shining, transcendent, everlasting love of God for each of us and the love of His Son who gave His life for us. It seems clear that the essence of our duty and the fundamental requirement of our mortal life is captured in these brief phrases from any number of scenes in the Savior's mortal ministry. He is saying to us, trust me, learn of me, do what I do. Then, when you walk where I am going, he says, we can talk about where you're going and the problems you face and the troubles you have. If you will follow me, I will lead you out of darkness, he promises. I will give you answers to your prayers. I will give you rest to your souls. I'm not certain just what our experience will be on Judgment Day. But I will be very surprised if at some point in that conversation God does not ask us exactly what Christ asked Peter. Did you love me? I think he will want to know if in our very mortal, very inadequate and sometimes childish grasp of things, did we at least understand one commandment? The first and greatest commandment of them all. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy strength and with all thy mind. And if at such a moment we can stammer out, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee, then he may remind us that the crowning characteristic of love is always loyalty. If you love me, keep my commandments, Jesus said. So we have neighbors to bless children to protect, the poor to lift up, and the truth to defend. We have wrongs to make right, truths to share and good to do. In short, we have a life of devoted discipleship to give in demonstrating our love of the Lord.